Hey everybody, Jack here with Lawson Screen and Digital. I'm the graphic designer here and I wanted to show you how uh, we prepare artwork that has halftones in it. And basically what we want to do is dial the halftones in so that they really blend perfectly into the shirt color that we want to print on as opposed to just being stuck with a big black box, uh, for example, you know, behind the artwork. So take a look at this. Okay, so here's our artwork uh, up close. And the first thing that we really need to do is determine that it's 300 DPI. So we're gonna go image size. And as you can see, this one says 70 do, 72 DPI, but at 33 inches wide, which is way too big. So I'm just gonna plug in 300 here and now it automatically changes to uh, 8 by 8. Uh, notice that the resample is unchecked here. So 8 by 8 is a lot closer to the real size we want to print. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say OK here. The next thing that we need to do is we need to make a copy of the background layer. And then we need to create a new layer. And since we know that this prints really well on black, I'm going to eyedropper tool the, the black here, and that's going to be our shirt color. And again, we're just going to be taking the half tones of the artwork itself and printing on a black shirt rather than this whole square here because that just wouldn't look very good. Okay, so now that we've, we've got that sampled, I'm going to fill that top layer with my foreground color, and that's, that's our shirt color. The next thing we need to do is go into that layer and change the blending mode to difference. Okay, now these top two layers need to be merged. Command E or Control E, whether you use a Mac or a PC. And now this top layer, I want to do a copy, so, uh, or a dupl duplicate, I should say. So I'm going to right click on it and go duplicate layer. And I, the destination, I want to change to new. So it's going to create a new document. So I say, okay, there it is there. And this is going to be our halftone layer that we're working on. So the next piece I need to do is go image mode grayscale. And then I want to go image adjustments um, levels. Okay, and then bring the highs way down. And I'm going to bring the lows up just a little bit. And then the mids, you see when I pull them over to the left, I start to get a lot more of the half tones in around his head. But I don't really want, you know, too much. I just want, I just want a little bit of the half tones and the kind of smoky thing going on. So I'm going I'm to say, okay, here, the next step is to go image mode and then bitmap. And I'm going to say, okay, here, and you see it kept the 300 DPI and we're going to use a half tone screen. I'll say, okay. And here it'll either default to 35 or 30 lines in an angle of 22. In this case, we want to keep the 35 in there and the shape round. So I'm going to hit OK. And now you can see that there's our half tones. So I'm going to select all, Control A, uh, Control C for copy, or Command A or Command C if you're on a Mac. And then I want to go back into my original artwork layer here and then I'm going to a layer mask on that top layer and I'm just going to click on it and then I'm going to alt click on it and you can see it turned it white here and then I'm going to just control V for paste and I basically just pasted in half tones that we created to the artwork itself. And so if I create a new layer again, 
and drag it to underneath and fill it with the foreground color that we already sampled, that shows you the shirt color. So now I can toggle the shirt color on and off to see what it'll look like. So you notice there's no, no square behind the final artwork. And let's just say that we're looking at this art and think, oh, that looks really great, but we want to really brighten the greens, for example. Well, we can still edit this in a non-destructive way by clicking on the top layer. And, and if we want to really pull out a little more of the kind of smoke around his head, I can select just the halftone layer by, by alt or uh, control clicking on it. And now I see the marching ants just around the halftones. So that'll make a, the selection of just what we want to edit. And if I hit uh, control H or command H that hides it. So now I can select it again and um, I, can, I can change the levels of just the area that we had selected. So you see, if I, I bring it up here, I get a lot more of the half tones around his head. Um, but it also loses um, some of the vibrancy. So I can go back and kind of do the same thing. Um, control click on just, on just the half tones, control H or command H to hide it. And then I could do the same thing that we just did, but I could do hue saturation. Um, so the saturation I could crank up and now it's getting a lot more saturated uh, and I could make it lighter. Or if I decided I wanted to change the actual color of the design, I could change the hue and dial it to a totally different color if I wanted. Um, Let's say we like that blue a little bit better. So I could just say OK. And then basically just turn off the shirt color layer and just print this as is. And there's our, our final artwork uh, that's been separated from the background.